Hey everybody, Corey Harrington, founder of Creative Real Estate Made Easy. Uh, I just went on a buy appointment for a property. Uh, about 20, 30 minutes ago, I uh, sent a, uh, a, 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 you know, a ping, a tweet, you know, uh, using Twitter and all that, talking about a property that I just um, bought that's worth a hundred and or two hundred and ten thousand, four hundred thousand flat, and I uh, offered for you guys to give me a call and ask me how I got it done. Well, what I decided is since I was filming the property anyway, it's usually part of my um, purchasing strategy when I'm getting the place uh, packaged and ready for marketing. When I resell, um, I want to uh, film. So I do photos and film and then I put it on uh, on Picasa um, using the um, Google, the Gmail uh, account. It's free. And I shoot it out to investors. I shoot it out to friends and family. and Whoever's interested, I shoot it out to a lot of people, and most people don't respond back. Some people do make inquiries, and then the real guys, I call uh, on the phone directly and say, hey, I got this deal, are you interested? So this property is, uh, it's, uh, it's a funny name. Um, uh, 211 Trafalgar, 211, 211-T-R-A-F-A-L-G-A-R. Uh, is the name of the street. It's in San Antonio, Texas. It's uh, near uh, what's called the North Star Mall. It's near the airport, and it's a really good part of town. Uh, it's worth two ten fixed, and about thirty thirty five thousand in fix. Um, you can see the videos in the this this uh, installment. Actually, I believe I'm going to link it uh, right after I talk right now, so you could watch the. Um, the property as you go through the, there's a there's things we can do to optimize the space and reconfigure rooms um, make the master uh, larger and we're gonna actually tear out a wall for the second bedroom and turn that into one giant master and then on the other side of the house we're gonna um, adjust the uh, the garage conversion bring it back to a garage and then uh, add extra space where the uh, sunroom is right now and turn that into a fourth bedroom so we can maintain the four bedroom uh, configuration. It's actually be four bedroom, three bath now, uh, about three thousand square feet with a uh, with a larger garage. So uh, we'll I'll show you. And there's a pool in the back. I'll show you what the whole project's going to look like as we go into the actual construction phase of this. And I'll I'll uh, I'll introduce you to my general contractor too, and we can have a, a dialogue. Perhaps we'll do an audio or maybe even a video if he's comfortable with that. And then we'll talk about uh, what he plans on doing with the total fix. But if I end up assigning this property to another investor for profit, uh, I'll, I'll take that. You know, right now our projected profit's going to be about forty to forty-five thousand dollars. If I get uh, an investor to buy the property and I make twenty thousand dollars, I'll go ahead and take it. But typically, I need to make about fifty percent of what I plan to make on a total rehab for me to accept an assignment. When you assign a property, you pay nothing down other than your earnest money deposit if you have one or an option fee. What I did is I um, do I do a $10 option fee. I don't pay for earnest, I don't do earnest money deposits. $10 is all I need to do. Yeah, I never have any issues with it the way I present it when I go for my buy appointment. So it's it's fine. Uh, I'll be out $10 if, uh, if I can't make the deal happen. But I have the money to fund, so not everyone does. If you don't have the money to fund the properties, then your best option is to go for an assignment of contract, to give it to another person, specifically someone like me. If the numbers work, I will buy them from students, I'll buy them from other investors, from other franchisees of, of home investors, which is a, I'm a franchisee, um, uh, my counterparts, whoever. If the number works, I'll absolutely buy it. So I bought two properties last year, or last month rather, from other um, home investor franchisees, and the month before I bought two to somebody like me, someone with the ability to close. Uh, the deal has to be right. I have to have access to the house. I need um, all of your information. Be upfront and honest and straightforward with me. I will do business with you, and I can close in 48 hours after there's clear title. So um, with that mindset, uh, it's in your best interest to go ahead and try to assign properties and ask for twenty thousand dollars is completely appropriate. I will, if I was on the other side and I wanted to fix this thing up and make forty-five or fifty thousand dollars, and someone wanted twenty thousand dollars from what their purchase contract price was, uh, I would accept it because the numbers work. So in this particular deal, I'm buying the property for one hundred thousand dollars flat. I'm paying all closing costs, and she will leave the closing table with exactly one hundred thousand dollars and zero cents. 
um, I would happily assign this thing for 120,000, knowing that the end user, when when they're all said and done, is going to sell it for about 210,000. And after fix and closing costs and every other consideration, they're going to make you know 40,000 plus. Uh, if they go overboard on rehab, maybe they won't make nearly as much. But there's a lot of profit to be made in this deal. So just another great deal. Um, Please call my office, ask uh, to speak with uh, my assistant, and we can book a time to, to talk. If you're one of my students, call me on your regular schedule, and I will explain this detail to you. Uh, if you're in town, one of my students in town, uh, if I have time, I'll, uh, I'll take you out and look at the property as long as I have three or four of you all together so we can get it done all at once. Okay, so this is Corey Harrington. It is March, uh, the, March the 6th of 2010. This property case study is 110, or rather 210 Trafalgar. I just purchased the property, got a contract for $100,000. I'm going to fund it in two weeks unless I assign it to an investor. Um, and I'm looking to make $20,000 if I assign it. And I'm looking to profit about $45,000 plus if I'm going to do the full rehab and sale. And if I end up purchasing it, I'm going to walk you through the entire process of the rehab and then the sale process. So look out for those videos. That is a difficult closet. You're right. <laughs> that closet door is right.